Here is a quick guide to uploading evidence for your course on Learning Assistant. Firstly, when you're on the home page, click onto My Programme and then onto the course name itself. And then you need to go into the unit that you're wanting to upload the evidence to. So for this example, we'll go into 201.1. And then once you are in the unit itself, you need to scroll down to the evidence wizard, which is found within the competence claim section here. And then this opens up this dialog. So if you click on to upload evidence, this will allow you to browse your computer for the file to upload. So click on browse files and we'll choose this one. So you'll see the file has been uploaded sort of temporarily there while we just do the extra detail bits. So if you click onto the details tab here, um, the title will automatically populate um, from the name that you've given the saved document. So that's nice and simple. Then on the type tab here, you need to select an option that reflects the evidence that you're uploading. So for this example, we'll just click on the reflective account. And then you need to go into the cross-reference section on here as well. And then scroll down to the unit that you're uploading the evidence to. Um, so this one is going to be 201. And then you need to go into 201.1. And then you just need to select the assessment criteria that your evidence meets. Um, so just as a quick side note here, if you are submitting a reflective account for a particular unit, you should select all of the assessment criteria. Um, so you literally just click the select all up here and then that ticks those all automatically for you. And then you can click save. And then you also need to click submit for review to let your assessor know that you've uploaded a document. So that is all done nice and simple there is also another way um, that you can actually upload into a separate unit so if you go on to another unit so we'll go back to course and it loads and then we'll just go on to um, 213.1 just so something completely different and then so you this looks exactly the same as a previous screen but instead of clicking evidence wizard here that we did previously if you click on choose evidence instead and you'll see the, here is a list of the documents that you've already uploaded so as you'll notice the learning assistant demo document that i've just literally uploaded is there so if you click on that and then click on save then that will upload that specific evidence for this new unit now if you hover over the um, assessment criteria um, here, so you'll notice when my mouse moves, the text moves above it, there's just a little box that pops up just to give you a little bit more information about the criteria that you need to meet for that specific unit. Um, and you can select which criteria actually is relevant to the evidence you've uploaded. So once you've done that, you just click save. And then the final step you need to do is the button up here, which says submit your competence claim. So just click on that and then click OK on that dialogue. And this will just notify your assessor that, that you've just uploaded some evidence. Um, and just as like a final check, once you've done that, if you go back to the My Program tab, you'll see the unit itself has changed colour that you've um, just uploaded evidence to. So the first unit we uploaded evidence to was the 201, and the second unit was 213. So you see both of those have turned blue now. And if we just go into 213, so if you scroll down, you'll see there's an evidence folder, and that's where the document that you've just uploaded has gone into. And you'll also notice the activity um, progress indicator has started to increase as well. So that's just a quick guide of how to upload evidence. Um, I hope you find that useful. Um, obviously, if you've got any further questions, then do get in touch with your assessor and they'll be able to help you more.